Jesus et reste libre de faire Dieu. someone that doesn't want you and that could be a very terrible scenario when you want someone that doesn't want you you'll be the one doing the texting at all times doing the um, all the expenses taking all the expenses and all because the person hasn't committed himself or herself emotionally and then it definitely leads to frustration so you have to go for people that truly want you don't stick to people that don't want you when someone is um, making it look like you're pushing too much or you're being the one coming out too much then it simply means they don't want you so right to another point i would like to have um present to you is the x factor yes uh, your past experience with some guy or some lady could be one of the reasons you haven't found love yet still because that experience has clouded your mind and clouded your judgment and um, put it to you as though there's no good um, person out there and that you cannot find love. So one of the things I would like you to do is check yourself very well. If that could be the reason why you haven't found love, then check very well and try as much as possible to take that past experience off your mind, take it away, it is past and gone, put it aside and clear your mind and set your own self ready and available to receive love. There is love out there. Okay. So okay. Another point I'll discuss with you is that um, it is likely you are being too picky. Yes. There is no one perfect person out there. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I know lots of ladies write down what they want in a guy and girls and guys also do the same thing. I want him to be tall, dark, handsome, have good paying job, have good job and, and all. Yeah. Those are very good attributes, it's a good thing to do and all. It's good to have a standard. It goes to it's very good and okay to set a standard for what you want. Someone who is caring, God fearing well to do, having a good life and all, yeah, all those are good, but I want you to also know that there's no perfect person, you can find someone who is uh, very caring but short, and you want a tall person who is caring, and then a very tall person that that isn't caring, and not um, that isn't caring and not caring and not treating you right so it is very important you come down to reality forget about the things you see on tv 
to the sale of the magazine, social media and all. They aren't any perfect person out there. So you have to stop being picky. Once you find a 60% of what you want in your um, life partner and so on, then you are good to go. 60% is good, 70% is good. The person must be perfect from the top to the bottom, from uh, look to character to fear of God and all. So you have to consider that. It is possible you are being too desperate. Yes, nobody likes desperate people around them. Overly desperate. When you are desperate, you give this impression that you are only wanting the person because you don't have an option at that time. And once you have another option, you do it with the person and go for the best option. And when you are coming too desperate, it looks like there is a void in your life that you want to fill and it has to be done immediately and all. Being too pushy is super wrong. So calm down and take it a step at a time. Don't go too desperate. Don't come too desperate. Don't come too needy. Don't come too... Take it easy and you definitely find true love. When you are too pushy, then uh, this is to the ladies out there. You don't pursue a man. Men are meant to pursue. Men are meant to do the chasing, yes. So calm down, stop being too desperate, and you'll definitely find love. Fear is a terrible thing, and it can prevent you from doing things that you should do that probably, probably and definitely yield result, positive result. I've seen instances where a guy is interested in a lady and instead of going out there to make his intention known, he sits back and concludes that he is going to be rejected. And then even if he goes out to make his intention known to the lady, he will definitely receive a negative answer because he has already conditioned his mind to accept rejection. He has conditioned his mind to be rejected and all. So fear of rejection can prevent you from finding love. So try as much as possible to take away the fear of rejection of your mind. And I bet you find love. Lastly, it is possible you haven't prepared yourself to receive love. You are not ready to receive love yet. There's time for everything here, yeah, fine, okay. So you while you are waiting to receive love, you have to prepare yourself to be lovable. Prepare yourself to, to be you know, if you want someone if you want a great person then you must be a great person yourself. If you're wanting someone who is perfect or someone who is good, then you have to work on your character, work on yourself to be lovable. Make yourself love open. So that is one of the reasons you haven't found love. It is possible you're not ready for love yet. You're not ready, you're not prepared. So you have to prepare your mind, your body, your soul, everything to receive love. And then one last thing I would like to state is that God is love. And whoever loves is one of God. For you to love, or before you love, you have to know the one who is love, which is God. Have your personal relationship with Him, study His word, know Him, pray, have com communion, communicate with Him at all times. Okay, so hope you enjoyed this video. And sure you subscribe to my channel so that you can be notified as soon as I drop a new video. Thank you for watching. Love you. Bye.